Ultra Prism. Well, we've done Forbidden Light so much, and by so much I mean not even as much as Ultra Prism, but we've done it a lot recently, and I just wanted something different, okay? I just, I just wanted something, don't blame me, I just wanted something different. <laughs> um, plastic's hard to get into, guys, can't you tell? It's just difficult. It's been a rough week, and by rough week, I mean it's been a rough hour sitting here recording these videos um, that are going to be distributed while I'm gone. <laughs> so I'm ha I'm living through a week of openings in in an hour, and it's literally only four videos. But do you see what it's doing to my head, guys? I'm going crazy. I'm going crazy. It's true. It's true. Okay. Ultra Prism. Uh, we still need one gold card. It's the Lunala. We still need Lily Full Art. We still need Cynthia Full Art. And if there's any Hyper Rares, I'm for, I'm just, I don't know. I've totally forgotten about them. So. We got a Torterra Hollow on our first pack. Alrighty. That's cool, I guess. Cool. There's so much trash underneath my chair right now. Um, more Lull. <laughs> Lull. And Dialga GX. So. Back to back pulls, guys. That's crazy. See, this is what I like. I, Ultra Prism spoiled us. Because in uh, Forbidden Light, the codes are facing, like, the, the actual scannable parts facing the camera. So, lots of people end up taking my codes, <laughs> and I'm not complaining, I'm actually just, it's just something that does happen. Um, you know, and, and if people are that desperate for codes, that's fine. I'll let them have it. <laughs> but it's kind of nice not having to worry about it. Uh, like, Ultra Prism has the codes facing the other way. And it just makes life so much easier. <sighs> something stuck to my arm. Anyway, um, ooh, Cynthia, Cynthia, you know, you know what would be kind of cool is if they, they, um, they brought back that gold, gold, uh, name text, and so maybe, I don't know, instead of reverse, they, they kind of did, like, actual hollow portrait, or, like, hollow background, and then gold name in the trainer, I think that'd be cool, I don't know, I'm totally going off on a little rabbit trail thing. Anyway, okay, that's a hollow. I think that'd be cool for, like, trainers. Um, instead of instead of reverses, or in addition to reverses, I, I just, I know, I know. It adds another thing to collect, and then that just drives people crazy. But, I don't know, I, I thought it'd be kind of cool to have something a little different. Although, they're they're doing something different right now. They're doing the hollow trainers. They're bringing those back because we got Diantha and some future ones coming up. So, I guess my idea is dumb. Uh, <laughs> they don't need my idea. They're doing something else anyway. Uh, hey, look. We got a prism star. It's Lunala. I need a gold Lunala, please. Gold Lunala. None of this... None of this prism st okay, that's in the wrong stack. None of this prism star stuff. I need a gold. I need gold. I'm going to the mountains. I'm going to be panning for gold. Just not, no, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to be panning for gold. Although that's something I've wanted to do. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever gone panning for gold or gemstones. <laughs> I actually, I like as a kid, that was something that always really... Uh, got my attention, you know, how you can clickbait kids in real life, like, you know, with billboards, because everything in life is, is clickbait, um, because that's what advertising is, I don't, I don't think people understand that, there we go, we got a hyper rare, um, whoa, so yeah, uh, <laughs> I always was, like, really, really captivated by the idea of, like, panning for gold and stuff like that, um, I like, I like the outdoors. There's so many things I'd like to do outdoors, um, and then I just never do it. <laughs> How sad. 
Uh, um, it's also kind of like opening packs, you know, panning for gold. Each shovel uh, you stick in the ground and, and bring up and pan it. I had imagined it's just like opening another pack. It's just a lot more physical labor. <laughs> uh, but, you know, you never know what's in that, uh, that shovel full of dirt or that plastic um, card package. You may find gold. So, yeah, if I pull a Lunala gold card, I'm going to go bury it in the ground and dig it up and pan it and it'll be water damaged. But I will have panned for gold <laughs> at least once in my life. This is a very strange video. Topic wise, I'm just totally rambling. And we're only six minutes in. I mean, this is crazy. Um, floats all. See, I told you guys. Tapu Lele. Um, if I'm. Yeah, if I, I've sat down and done four videos, I am losing my mind. Ah. Pussimian. Sneasel, Eevee. Cresselia. Uh, Heat Rotom. Okay. So, yeah. I don't know how many topics we've covered in this video, but I think we've jumped around quite a bit. Um, yeah. I've actually, you know, on, on the same kind of, uh, uh, not really subject, or but the same, I don't know, genre of activities, I've actually really, really been interested in, uh, ooh, Cynthia, in uh, metal detecting, like, that's also something, you know, you never know what you're gonna pull out of the ground. Um, those kinds of hobbies are just way too addicting for me, I guess. <laughs> and, okay, come on, focus on the cards. I, I, that's that's something I, I, like, invested in, bought a metal detector, was ready to go, and then, you know, you just never, <laughs> you never go outside and you never do it. <laughs> So you bought a metal detector and it sits in the garage. Any of you guys have similar experiences? <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, Cresselia. Um, but yeah, that's kind of that's kind of a trend with me. Is is I'll invest in something that I really think I'm gonna love, and then I just never get around to doing it. Um, terrible. Or, or I'll, you know, invest in something, and if it doesn't involve me going out in the world, I'll actually do it for a little while, like if it's at home or something. Uh, I'll uh, get a few months of entertainment out of it, but I will have spent so much investing into that hobby. Um, so, I mean, I don't know how Pokemon's lasted this long. <laughs> Giratina! Prism Star. And a type null regular rare. Because, you know, Pokemon definitely can do this from home. Um, yep. <laughs> and you can see how well uh, that's gone. I've totally, totally gone over my head with Pokemon. Hey, there we go. A Bastiodon Hollow. I've. I've, I've I've looked at Pokemon and I've gone, man, when is it going to turn into one of those hobbies that just, just, just like, you know, gets put on the wall and not touched ever again? Like, is that going to happen? What? I, I guess not. Um, I've actively been doing this channel for, what, two years now? Yeah, two years. And it's been like a weekly thing. I don't think I've ever gone more than like a couple days without post Well, I think two weeks, maybe two weeks was the maximum I went without posting a video. And it, I think there was a reason for it. Um, but I can't remember. <sighs> yeah. We got some, uh, yep, mm-hmm. Totally. Uh, rambling and drawing a blank at the same time. Wow. <laughs> Holy crap. Look at that stunky. 
we got a huge, huge uh, offset. Gosh, we can see the, the print dot there and everything. We got a Heatran Hollow. That was a crazy, crazy off center. Off center, that's what it's called, not offset. What am I doing? I have no idea, guys. I am totally losing it. Torterra. I think in my previous video, I don't know what order I'm going to upload them. Oh, that's not the right stack. Um, was it? Was that a rare? Oh, gosh. I did not expect that to be a rare. Um, in my previous video, <laughs> I think I think stuff got real. I only recorded it maybe like 15 minutes ago, but for you guys, it might have been two days ago. I Shoot. I think... Oh, God, I thought that was gold for a second. I was flipping out inside. Oh, um, yeah. Like, had started having flashbacks when I saw a wishful baton, you know, just like, man. Discipline your children. It's just, they might freak out at a, at a Pokemon card down the road. <laughs> oh, man. I wonder if there's anyone that's going to get triggered by those kinds of comments about disciplining each other. Uh, whatever. It's not my place. Anyway. Oh, gosh. YouTube. I'm just talking to a camera. Oh, God. Thank oh, my God. That's awesome. Cynthia Full Art. Finally got Cynthia. That is amazing. She's kind of off center too, but oh well, I'll take it. Doesn't you don't have to be perfect, Cynthia? I'll just, you know, you're just going in a binder anyway. Normally, if I wasn't collecting sets, I would, I would sell off like the Cynthia's, uh, because they're the valuable cards. And you know, you know, um, if I'm not collecting sets, I would get return, um, return on investment, and you know, be able to buy more product. But since I'm doing this collect the whole set thing. Just putting money in a binder. Ugh. <laughs> it's cool and all, but sometimes when a card is that valuable, you're like, do I really need to collect this set right now? <laughs> Can't I just, at least, I'll leave that one for later. When well, maybe in a couple years when it rotates. Although, I wonder if it would even be much cheaper when it rotates. I don't know. Gosh, this is totally a rambling video. Man, this is crazy, guys. How are y'all still here? I don't know. This is crazy. We got a Cynthia and a freaking Hyper Rare. This is why I love this set, guys. I love Ultra Prism. It is so much better than just anything else. Right? It just I don't want to open Crimson Invasion. I'm like, well, okay, Guardians Rising is awesome. But compared to Forbidden Light, Ultra Prism is just... You get to pull so much stuff, and that's that's fun to me, is when you pull the numbers. And also, you know, getting some quality stuff is good, but when you... <laughs> those Forbidden Light boxes, talk about just... I don't know, man. They are just rough on your emotions. They're just hurting my feelings. It's just like they're insulting me. Hey, a reverse lily. Yeah. Totally hurting my feelings. That's the right way to put it. They just hurt my feelings. I guess. Okay, so we have Turtwig. Riolu. Mo Rotom. Gosh, I am just losing my brain. Losing it. Whoa. <laughs> Throwing packs. Okay, so we got an Eevee and a Magmortar Hollow Rare. We're down to three packs here, guys. I think I still have two more boxes of Ultra Prism. I have no idea if I really want to open them, but maybe. Um, I did open one off camera. Uh, one night, I just really... One night. Okay, let me tell you about this night, guys. Oh, gosh. Um... I was watching something, streaming, and, oh gosh, I felt the urge to open packs. 
I opened two Guardians Rising booster boxes, a Burning Shadows booster box, and an Ultra Prism booster box. <laughs> Off camera. Um, so yeah, that was crazy. Uh, finally, out of Burning Shadows, I was able to pull, out of that one box of Out of Burning Shadows, I pulled an Acerola full art and a Guzma full art. No Charizard though. I think I also got the Secret Rare Choice Band. I can't remember. Um, it was it was a good night. Like, it was a lot of fun. Just sitting down, cracking a ton of packs at my own pace, just enjoying it. Like, I love making videos, and it's fun. But sitting down and just cracking into a pack, cracking into a box, it's kind of like you know, having a cold one. <laughs> um, it's just relaxing. And so that that was really cool. I'm glad I did that, um, even though it was five, you know, $400 worth of boxes or whatever. Leafeon GX. That was the last pack, guys. Um, craziness. <laughs> Where's the time gone? T Poke Soup just totally rambled for like 16 minutes. What? Okay, so, pulls. Palkia, Hyper Rare. I think I already have it. Uh, Leafeon. Finally got Cynthia. That's amazing, though. Uh, Darkrai, Palkia. Necro uh, Dawnwing, Necrozma. We have a Giratina, a Lunala Prism, and Dialga. So, I'd consider that a great box. Got a card I didn't have, especially, like, the whole... The, mo the most... Yeah. Almost the most expensive card in the set. I think Cynthia's like second most expensive. I'm not really sure. Uh, I think the gold gold soul Galea was the most expensive. Cannot remember though. Um, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, Rambly Soup. Uh, <laughs> oh God. Um, 